what uh, I can I can say from Spain, and it's something that you cannot uh, replicate in, in other countries, is uh, that we have a special uh, context that uh, enable that uh, uh, Podemos and then before the 15M uh, appeared. No? Uh, of course, there was a, a crisis, and especially in the case of Spain, the, the um, real estate bubble it was especially important and that had uh, a lot of uh, social consequences. The mobilization was huge. There were million people uh, mobilized at, at some points, and what this uh, made possible is to create a really a real um, um, a social majority in favor of a different approach uh, to the crisis, uh, protecting first uh, the people and social rights and then after the banks, while uh, the demands of uh, 15M and the diagnosis uh, had the support of uh, between 70 and 80 percent of the people, there was no party that uh, could uh, represent and couldn't uh, defend uh, these uh, ideas and for that it was necessary to have a real uh, discourse that it was uh, genuine and that uh, also traspassed all the uh, um, mental barriers that uh, we create sometimes between the left uh, wing and the right wing uh, parties. And Podemos uh, su succeed in being in this uh, reference, what we say is a, a tool for citizens to convey these uh, demands and this message into the political uh, arena. There were some features of the party that made it a uh, really different. Uh, one thing was, for instance, uh, participation, open the participation for masses, uh, including all sorts of uh, participation, from uh, creating uh, cycles in the local uh, uh, scene uh, all over the country, but also uh, enable uh, online uh, participation. We also introduced a completely open a primaries where everybody can present uh, uh, themselves as a, as a candidate and we choose not only the head of the list, we choose the full uh, uh, list. Another example is a transparency uh, political party founding. It has been a, a, a real problem in Spanish uh, politics and what we do is we publish all our accounts including uh, uh, up to the last uh, invoice. No? The, the third idea is to bring normal people to the front. Uh, try to uh, first uh, have uh, people, activists, people that uh, uh, they might not be uh, known people, but uh, they have a trajectory in different social movements and also put the demands of uh, social movements on the front and you must be only the um, distribution chain that might allow these demands uh, to reach to the institutions. When you say that the uh, professional politicians are uh, an elite and then you become yourself one uh, politician or well, you are an elected uh, official, then there were a few things that uh, we thought it was important to show this uh, difference. And what we have done is to limit our uh, salaries to three times the minimum wage. Uh, that means that uh, depending on different uh, parliaments, we donate between uh, two thirds and one third of uh, our salary. And this salary, uh, this uh, excedent, it goes half of, of it to the party, which is also an important uh, source of uh, financing, and 50% uh, goes to uh, support other social projects that are not inside Podemos. Uh, in a way, uh, social movement and society in general, they are giving us uh, too much and we need to find a, a way also to give it uh, back and also realizing that uh, once you, you get into power, um, we have seen it uh, with uh, Syriza, the enormous uh, power that we confront, you cannot do it alone from the institution and isolated. You need uh, actually to create this body, this uh, political subject the people, the masses that will push you and that will uh, demand you that uh, you, go, uh, you go further.